What's up everyone, it's Ivan. Today I wanna to talk about how you can get started with eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, whatever you're selling on, how you can get started with it and how you can source some inventory. What I recommend when you're starting is set a budget for yourself, right? Maybe it's $100, it's $250, $500, $1,000. It doesn't really matter, right? You wanna get your cost for what you're gonna be buying in the beginning of the month. So you go, you buy $500 worth of items, if that's your budget, and you wanna stay, you wanna source from places like, you know, a discount stores. So you wanna go from Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, you wanna to go to thrift stores, Salvation Armies, any places that are super cheap. And you wanna to try to go for the ultra clearance items. Sometimes at thrift stores, they have like $3 days, $2, $1. Every thrift store is different, but you can go to yours and see what they have. And you're just gonna learn, right? You're gonna look things up on eBay and you're gonna see what they sell for. And if they sell for more money and there's room for margin in there, uh, once you get familiar with eBay fees and shipping fees and all those sort of things, from looking up different YouTube videos, you, you can buy an item for a dollar, maybe make, you know, $10 or something for $8. You could sell it for 30, whatever your strategy is, you can go ahead and source from places like that that are super low cost, allow you to get a bunch of items with uh, great ROIs. You know, you can make two times, three times, five times your money. That's the kind of strategy you want to use when you're getting started. So set a budget for yourself. Maybe if you're, you're a, a small seller, it'll be a hundred dollars. So you go right and you buy a hundred dollars worth of items. Some of them sell. Maybe you get back $50 of what you paid for the items, right? So you get $50 of what you paid for the items and maybe you made $25 profit. Now you have $75 worth of money that you can go and buy more stuff with but you still have fifty dollars worth of inventory that you put in right so that's the beauty of it is that you can start recycling your profits you can start reinvesting your profits back into ebay and all of a sudden with only a hundred dollars of startup you can all of a sudden have five hundred dollars of cost in your items and you, you haven't lost anything right you you've you've definitely invested some of your time in as far as what you might be able to gain it's definitely worth it and you can cross list you can do that on ebay you can do it on Mercari, you can do it on all these different things i would say start off with ebay uh, it has the largest audience compared to the ones that i mentioned and there's a lot of information out there about it there's a lot of knowledge, experience. You can copy listings. It's just the most it's the most friendly to get started. So that's what I recommend for you. Obviously, you got to set up your store, learn about shipping. You got to all those other things that you have to do before you get to this point. But I wanted to talk about this because I think this is the most important part. Other, the other stuff's kind of boring. You know, you're just it's, you're just learning and memorizing something. You're starting your account. It's like, I don't need to make a video about that, right? You can just log in, set it all up for yourself. And when you're starting off with eBay, I believe they limit your listings at first. So you only be able to list like an item or five hundred dollars worth or ten. I can't remember what it was, but they discount the fees. So I think when you first start, they don't charge you fees, eBay fees. So that's that's a nice thing that'll definitely help you when you first start off. And yeah, just stick to stuff. Uh, I know Marshalls, I know Burlington, I know Ross. There's certain days of the week. I know for Ross, it's Tuesdays they bring in shipments. Marshalls, at least here, it has like its own clearance section. So not only is it a discount store already, but then it has its own discounted section inside of the store. So you can go and check that out. And my one of my last videos, that's where I sourced from. I showed you a five pack of Van Heusen uh, low rise briefs uh, underwear. And I bought that for $6 at, at a Marshall's that was in a clearance section. It was red tag. And I sold that for $24 and that netted me about $9. So a little over 100% return on that one and that's what you want those type of items you want to start off with right so that's a six dollar item let's say so it was a ten dollar item you could do ten of those items you have ten listings to start off with when one sells and you make nine dollars in profit well now you're at a hundred and one a hundred and nine dollars for the money that you can have invested in your inventory as your cost. So that's the beauty of it. Um, you don't have to put a lot of money to start off with eBay. You can start off slowly and keep adding to your inventory as you sell things, you can get familiar, you can do your research, everything's free and online. It's not a huge investment. It's not some course that you have to buy. Um, it's not some skill that you have to have. You can take pictures with your phone. It's just super low cost as an investment but it, your store can grow and grow and grow and all of a sudden you can go from selling one item a day to five items a day to 20 a day to selling stuff when you're asleep yeah I mean, it's so the 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 ceiling is 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 uh, limitless you know there's no cap on the ceiling to what you can do with this 
so that's why I wanted to make a video and uh, for anyone that's interested in selling on eBay I would say start your store up uh, set a budget and just start you know everyone gains experience by doing it themselves you can watch people source on YouTube for free there's videos that they're in the store and they're sourcing I plan on making some of those because I like watching those myself so I want to put out videos of myself sourcing in the store and you can get familiar with brands I remember when I was thrifting when I was in college and I started eBay I I didn't know about this brand but it looked cool it stood out to me right so that's something that maybe you want to do you want to go to thrift stores and if some jeans stick out to you right for me it was the rock revival jeans and it just it the design of the rock revival just kind of jumped out at me when I was looking at the row of jeans and this one's just you know it looks special so I checked it out I looked it up and I I forget how much I bought the jean for I think it was $11 and I sold it for $59. So that was my first sale. That's how I got introduced to Rock Revival. And, um, you know, you gain experience. You learn about new brands that way. So I would say start off in thrift stores or very discount, very discounted stores. You want to keep your, uh, your costs low and you want to spread it across a bunch of items so you can start to recycle your money and reinvest. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.